my face is so cold. Good evening and welcome to the City Council meeting of the City of Lenore for Tuesday, February the 2nd, 2021. Thank you for being with us this evening. As we normally do, we will get started in just a few minutes with our call to order. But first of all, let's call the roll and see who we have with us this evening so everyone will know. Here in the chamber, uh, we have Joshua Harris, our public information director, is with us. And Scott Hildebrand, our city manager. Here with the council, David Stevens, Todd Perdue, Ike Perkins, and John Beal, and myself uh, as the mayor, are here in the room. And let's see, we'll start with our roll call of council members. Mayor Pro Tem, Chrissy Thomas. Present. Thank you. Um, council member Ralph Presswood. Present. Council member here. Ben Willis. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, city attorney, TJ Rohr. I'm here. All right. Our city clerk, Shirley Cannon. She's here. Thank you. Uh, department heads, our finance director, Donna Bean. Here. Thank you. Fire chief, Ken Hare. I'm here. Thank you, chief. Uh, Economic development director, Main Street, Kaylin Horn. I'm here. Uh, tonight, filling in for chief Phelps is uh, Captain Andy Wilson. Welcome, Captain. Thank you, sir. I'm here. Yes, sir. And filling in for Kenny Story tonight is Administrative Assistant in Parks and Recreation, Maria Swanson. I'm here. Thank you, Maria. Uh, Public Utilities Director, Radford Thomas. I'm here. P Planning Director, Jenny Wheelock. I'm here. And last but not least, our Public Works Director, Jared Wright. I'm here. Thank you, Jared. Glad everybody could be with us. Thank you. And as we get started this evening, first of all, let me uh, tell you, tomorrow will be the closing of our Samaritan's Purse Field Hospital. The closing ceremony will be 1030 in the morning. If anyone would like to uh, come by for that, plan to be there uh, for that. We want to say thank you to Samaritan's Purse and to all of our hospital personnel and all the personnel who came here from all over to help us during this last uh, four weeks it started five weeks ago and actually uh, opened for operations on January the 7th. During that time, they uh, treated 78 patients in the uh, unit, and we certainly want to say thank you for all that, that work and for what was done. Thank goodness they, they, everything is getting better, we hope, and uh, our cases are going down. I think we only had five or six that were in the field hospital as of today, and they will be going back into the, to the hospital. So until they're ready to uh, be discharged, we hope. So anyway, our, our special thank you to them. I know a lot of people did a lot of great things while they were here, fed them many, many times, churches, uh, uh, community uh, people, uh, people who were great chefs in our community, prepared meals for them, and, and volunteers uh, took them a lot of different things and said thank you to them many ways. So we do thank that everyone for all that was done uh, during that special time. And now as we go to our time of, of uh, a moment of silence and pledge of allegiance in just a minute, I would like for you to keep several in your thoughts and prayers. Hello? <laughs> got a heart? We got a heartbeat going somewhere. I'm not on. Okay, thank you, whatever that was. Anyway, uh, while we go to our time of prayer, we'd, we'd like to keep our um, good friend and uh, the superintendent and director of the National Park Service and, and Blue Ridge Parkway, Gary Everhart, who was born and raised here in Lenore and went to Lenore High School and had many years, almost 30 years of ser over 30 years of service to that, who passed away last week, and we will certainly want to keep he uh, and his family uh, in our thoughts and prayers. We will be doing a special uh, proclamation in his honor at our next council meeting when all that's put together to say uh, thank you for so many years of, of his service to us. Also, uh, uh, I would pass along to you that uh, keep the Gray, Gray Shear family in your thoughts and prayers as uh, Tina Shear, Gray's wife, passed away uh, yesterday uh, after a battle with cancer, and we certainly want to keep uh, uh, Gray and his family in our thoughts and prayers over these next hard times. 
And also would like to mention uh, one of the finest ladies that I know of in this community for so many years, uh, Joyce Lawing, uh, former county commissioner and, and uh, leader in our community, church leader. Uh, and I will have to say she directed Becky and I's wedding 46 years ago. So I uh, have a very special place in our heart for Joyce Lawing. So we want to say that she passed away. We want to keep uh, all the Lawing family in our thoughts and prayers uh, as, uh, as this time has come. But uh, she was one fine lady. So, And as we get ready for that, I would mention this is Black History Month, and we want to uh, certainly celebrate uh, anything during this time. I know it'll be hard to, to get together like we normally do. Uh, a couple of great black leaders that we lost over the last little bit, Cecily Tyson, who was in her 90s, was a well-known uh, uh, leader in the community, an actress, and, um, and we want to keep her in mind. And then one of my all-time heroes, I'm sure, was Todd's too, uh, Hank the Hammer and Henry Aaron, uh, who was one of our... Uh, <coughs> Uh, great baseball stars and uh, someone that we all admired and looked up to for, for so many years. So uh, as we celebrate Black History Month, keep those fine people in also in your thoughts and prayers as well. So if you will now, let's join together for a moment of silence and remain standing for our Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Will you salute our flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Well, as we get started, we do not have matters scheduled for public uh, hearings this evening, so we'll move on to <clears throat> item three, our consent agenda items. Tonight, consisting of minutes from our City Council meeting of Tuesday, January 19th, 2021, and minutes of our Committee of the Whole meeting of Tuesday, January 26th, 2021, both as submitted. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll open it up to uh, any comments or um, uh, discussion on either one of these consent agenda items and or motion for approval. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the consent agenda item as items as presented. Thank you. Uh, Council Member Stevens makes a motion to uh, accept the consent agenda items as presented. If there's no discussion on any of them, we'll call for the question. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And on the phone. Aye. On the... Aye. aye. Thank you. Aye. Thank you. And that carries unanimously. Thank you very much. We do appreciate that. We'll move on then to it's a time on our agenda for request petitions of any citizens. There are none with us tonight here, so if there's anyone that uh, is uh, on the uh, Zoom call meeting um, that would like to address the council, you can do so at this time. I think most everyone with us is are part of our staff or council members, so if there is, you can come back. Anyway, we'll move on past that. We do not have any reports. Of boards and commissions this evening so we'll move on to the report and recommendations of our city manager mr. Hildebrand mr. mayor of council a couple items for information this evening the uh, city county service committee will conduct a virtual meeting on Monday February 8th at noon the Caldwell County Economic Development Commission will conduct a virtual meeting on Tuesday February 9th at 8 a.m. the ABC board will conduct a virtual meeting on Thursday February 11th at 2 p.m. And the Lenora Business Advisory Board will conduct a virtual meeting on Thursday, February 11th at 6 p.m. The uh, Parks and Rec Advisory Board will meet in person on Monday, February 15th at 6 o'clock at Mulberry Recreation Center. And that's the items for information this evening. You have one item uh, for council consideration. That's the sales tax reinvestment agreement. The... Um, Sales tax reinvestment uh, agreements between Caldwell County and all the municipalities in the county uh, governing the use of sales tax distribution. The proposed agreement will run four years. It's basically the same agreement we have today. 
except we're adding four years to the term of that. Uh, as you're aware, the, each April, the county can decide how to distribute sales tax, per capita or ad valorem levy method. And in Cobble County, they do per capita method. Um, as such, by doing it that way, they encourage all the other communities to participate in economic development opportunities. And with this, uh, they share the revenue to help run the sales tax reinvestment and we do for economic development purposes. So last night, Granite Falls adopted the agreement. I think the other municipalities in the county will probably consider that in the next uh, several weeks and hopefully have it adopted before uh, March. So if any questions with that, you have the agreement in your packet for consideration. Okay, you've heard the recommendation of the uh, sales tax reinvestment agreement that we have with the other municipalities in the county and with uh, Caldwell County be approved for another four year term, which would be July 1st, 2021 to June 30th of 2025. Uh, and as, as we talked about, this, this is used for economic development uh, through um, uh, bringing in uh, industry and business to our communities in this way. So um, anyway, I'll open it if there's any discussion uh, about it. You're welcome to do that. If not, I will ask for a motion considering this agreement. Mr. Mayor, yes. make a motion that we adopt this sales tax reinvestment agreement. Okay, we have a motion from uh, <laughs> Council Member Perkins to adopt the sales tax reinvestment agreement as presented for the next four years. If there's no other discussion, we'll call for the question. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And on aye. Zoom. Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate I that. I how you feel. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, I'll read that into that. Thank you uh, on that. But uh, we do appreciate it. And... Uh, Hopefully, we'll continue to uh, see good things happening from our, our community through the use of this, uh, these sales tax dollars that come into our community. So that stands unanimous. Thank you. Scott. All right. Scott. Yes. What are the dates for the uh, budget retreat? I lost my I was just going to go back and, and make that announcement. We're going to meet on the 23rd of February at 8.30 a.m. and go to 11.30. That'll be virtual. And then also on that Thursday, the 25th of February, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, we have a couple. At 8? 830. 8.30 to 11.30 on the Tuesday and from 2 to 5 on the Thursday. Tuesday would be the normal Kimmy the whole meeting. Just okay. be done virtually this time. Okay. Uh, Thank you. And then Thursday, 2 to 5. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions on that, any of that? Okay. Thank you for that. We'll move on then to a uh, report and recommendations from our city attorney, Mr. Rohr. Nothing to report. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate uh, all the work. I know you're keeping up on all the things going on and around, and you'll be with us with reports when you get all that put together. <laughs> we appreciate it. You're welcome. Yes, sir. All right. We will then uh, move on to uh, – I do have some board appointments to present to you for recommendation tonight. First one is to recommend that uh, Mr. Tim Ports be appointed to serve a two-year term on our Parks and Re Recreation Advisory Board. This point I announced at the uh, January 19th meeting to the council for your consideration, and we bring it back to you for that one tonight uh, for uh, to be uh, hopefully approved to be serve on that board. Uh, we think uh, Mr. Ports would do a great job there uh, on that. He grew up in athletics and has been involved in uh, for many many years so i think you'd be a great addition to that so i'll present that one to you first for your uh consideration is that the unexpired term of eric Rabinowitz? yes it is okay i'd like to make a motion that mr porch be approved as the mayor has requested all right we have a motion from council member purdue that we approve the uh, recommendation of mr tim porch to serve a two-year term on the recreation advisory board uh, as presented there's no other discussion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And virtually. Aye. 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 Thank you. We appreciate that. You're unanimous. And I'd like to make some other uh, board uh, announcements to you. We have several that are up for reappointment to our uh, boards and commissions, and I will present those to you tonight. And these, after the recommendation is presented to you, then we would consider these for a vote on our February 16th city council meeting. To the uh, Lenore 
Tourism Development Authority, which we call the LTDA, Mr. Matt Underwood uh, for reappointment to that board. For the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board, Mr. James Robertson and Mr. Michael Deneen to serve to be reappointed to that board and to our Lenore Business Advisory Board, uh, LBAB as we call it, the uh, Mrs. Uh, Kimmy Rogers to be appointed to that board. So I'll present those to you. These are all for February uh, reappointments. Uh, we do have some upcoming uh, reappointments that would be in March and they're all for our Board of Adjustments. And just to present, I'm not presenting those yet because I have not we actually had a chance to talk with them about their consideration of staying a part of our Board of Adjustments at this time. You know, the Board of Adjustments is made up from the Planning Board, and all these are members of the Planning Board as well as the Board of Adjustments. So we'll just discuss those. But that is uh, Mr. James Bradshaw, Mr. Mac Martin, and Mr. Tim Scobie all uh, would be coming up uh, to be reappointed if they consider it for the Board of Adjustments. But the other four uh, I am presenting to you tonight to for your consideration, and we will bring those again to you uh, on February 6th. I have talked with all of those uh, that I presented to you, and they all would like to continue serving. They're all doing uh, a good job on the prospective boards uh, and well respected by uh, the leaders uh, in those uh, uh, different board that lead those boards. They're all very attentive and doing a good job with that. So present that to you for your consideration. All right, uh, then as far as uh, city council members, anything that would come before us tonight for our council? I have nothing. <clears throat> anything? Okay. Uh, anything from any one of our uh, staff members, our, our uh, department heads that are on with us tonight? Anything you would like to bring before us? I will say this. Yes. I, I was not able to personally be at the committee of the whole but I received the the uh, the goodies that Kaylin and her staff put together and, and I think the new logos are just absolutely fantastic I think you've done a great job I know it's going to help uh, do an even better job than we already do with our marketing so kudos to you and your folks that they look really really good thank you much on behalf of a lot of people we're very pleased and we have a lot of folks involved in thanks a lot Thank you for that. That's right. It was a lot of work that went into that. Uh, it was a lot more people involved and uh, that looked at it and uh, well thought through uh, mm -hmm. as, it, as it moved forward. Appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other comments from any of our, our council? Uh, Mr. Willis, anything from our North Carolina League that you can report at this time? No, I know that we are going to have... Um, the the uh, the executive director of the league talked to us at the at our planning meeting, so he's going to give us a, a full comprehensive update. Uh, we haven't had any meetings between our last the last meetings we have at at my level, so um, that I have nothing to report. I do want to piggyback off a little bit off of uh, Todd's comment and uh, Kaylin's the great work that they've done, but we also please keep in mind that. The, the businesses that are existing downtown that we're trying to drive all this traffic to uh, still need our love and support right now. So we need to make sure that we continue to support our guys. I remember when we used to have uh, some of our businesses downtown, this first quarter uh, of the year is always very difficult. So please, I remember at the beginning of the COVID of, of this that um, everybody was kind of gung-ho and now we're kind of still, there's still a lot of businesses that we're, we, want, we need to support. So um, let's not lose sight of that uh, at, and why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, so please, please keep those businesses, especially in our downtown, and, and uh, 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 spend some dollars with those guys if you can. Thank you. Now, especially as you, as you say, January, February, and, you know, this time of year, it's tough anyway, being so cold, and you don't think about wanting to actually have to go out, <laughs> out and do anything, but we need to do that to keep – Supporting them in every yeah. way we can, uh, whether it's takeout or, or whatever. I'm not encouraging you to go sit down in restaurants, but I am encouraging you to, to consider, uh, you know, going by buying gift certificates. So I'm promising them to be used later when times are different, or, or uh, do takeout if that's something you'd like to do. So, but we want you to continue to be uh, as safe until we can get into better times today. Uh, anyone else that uh, uh, from our staff that's out there that will have anything to report. I hope things are going well in all your departments and uh, please continue to be safe and 
Uh, we wish everyone that's uh, that's had anything going on or, or is not feeling well to to continue to be safe, and and uh, we'll be thinking about you and keeping your thoughts and prayers as we as we move forward. Mr. Hildebrand, anything else you can think of coming up? Uh, Just encourage folks to get vaccines. That's right. When, you, when your time comes for vaccine, please do that, and, uh, and we certainly want to uh, encourage that. We want to thank our vaccine clinics. Uh, I think today we announced the health department announced they've already done how many? I read that. Did you guys read? Twenty-seven hundred. Yeah. Two thousand seven hundred. Yeah. Still had several. You know, the nine hundred and some more to go. And I know uh, UNC Healthcare has done uh, quite a number of uh, vaccines, and and we and hope all that. All of us are old enough to get it yet, Joe. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree. A couple of us are. <laughs> Thank I goodness. That's right, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going I'm to be there when they stab you. I'm going to help them. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, hopefully everything will move. Keep moving forward with that. And uh, uh, so I'd like some, some announcements today. Our, our uh, state is trying to figure out what to do in schools. Uh, if you heard the governor's announcements today, they're encouraging uh, everyone to consider how to go back to school. I saw Charlotte Mecklenburg is already back 15th of February and the 22nd of February they'll be back in. Forsyth County. And uh, Caldwell County, I guess, has got to work on, on what they're doing uh, to add to what's already happening there. So uh, times are moving better, but it's still not where we hope to be in, uh, down the road. But uh, we'll, we'll get there. Anyway, if there's nothing else to come before us tonight, we stand adjourned. Adjourned.